Physically after that. Not too bad, actually. Um, it's kind of interesting. The physicality was in like spurts because of the wind and, and our serving. You know, there'd be moments where neither one of us could get into the the meat of playing tennis, and then all of a sudden, like you, both of us would miss a couple first serves or something like that. Then we'd be physical for like five minutes, and it'd be tiring. And then we go back to just kind of serve botting a little bit, where neither one of us could get a get a grip on it. And it was kind of like that a lot. It's like twenty minutes off, five minutes of in, of intense tennis. So. Um, not like the typical long grinding affair. And then with the wind as, as well. Um, but then uh, when it's that windy, you've got to keep moving your feet a lot and stay low and things like that. But not too bad. Not too bad. It wasn't that physical and it's not that hot today. So, yeah, How pretty good. How do you rate that amongst your sort of career victories? <clears throat> it's a, a big, big scalp. Uh, well, I mean, it's a top 10 win and a slam. So I'd say it's up there for sure. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure where it where it's where it lies in the in the win uh, ranking list, but uh, pretty high, yeah. How would you describe your last six or seven months of tennis? You've uh, made three consecutive uh, third rounds or better at slams. Mm -hmm. You find yourself at 100 in the world. How would right. you describe it? Um, you know, a bit. I was injured for most of the fall. I tore a ligament and got a stress fracture in my toe and my foot. Um, so that kind of blew after after the US Open. Um, I played one week in Asia and then I was done. So I had like five, six weeks where I didn't have any points to defend or anything, but I couldn't play either. So, and then going into this year, I had 250 points the first week. Um, did not defend. <laughs> so, um, but felt like I played well last year in, in spurts. You know, I had some good weeks at slams and, and I like these tournaments a lot where it feels like, um, it's one of the few weeks where tennis actually feels like it means something, you know. Um, sometimes you get lost when you're traveling a lot and you're playing 30, 35 weeks a year. And I, I, I certainly do. I get lost out there sometimes. So I feel like my game kind of comes together uh, at these kind of weeks. Do you just feel pressure in January? Uh, that, that helps. But I, you also kind of gear, you gear your schedule to peak in these weeks. I'm getting better at that as I get older. Maybe I'm just getting... You know, older, wiser, and not as <laughs> not as spry as I used to be, but I'm getting a little smarter. You know, I, I take I take my weeks off, and then train hard to prep for so that I can start to peak at these weeks. Like Doha, I was still beat up from training hard, um, and then by 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 here, I started to feel pretty good. Do you have like a little more flexibility now at this stage of your career to be able to take weeks off to train because you've made a little bit more money? Certainly, compared to when I was like 200 or 300 in the world, where I'm trying to like. <laughs> figure out if I have a career in tennis where I'm playing as much as I can to try and win and get points and progress. But now I feel like I've had enough results that if I'm playing well, I can beat anybody. I feel I feel that way. So I try and gear myself towards playing well. And if that if that's taking weeks off, then I'll take weeks off. If that's playing more because I haven't had enough matches, then I'll try and play more matches. But it seems to be if I take a few weeks off and train up uh, as best I can, Play a, play a tournament or two and then play a, a, a bigger event like this that I seem to be able to play all right, yeah. What was the mental reset into the fifth set? I mean, obviously <laughs> you weren't very happy with the post set four. No, no. Uh, set three was a little frustrating. Um, I, had a, I had a decent look to try and break early, and, and he played too good. And felt like I played a loose game at 4-5, which... Over the long haul, you really shouldn't play loose games at 4-5. <laughs> you just shouldn't do that. Uh, he played too good in the fourth. I mean, he kind of beat me up a little bit. Um, so going into the fifth set, I felt like I didn't really have much momentum, and he was able to start serving first, and I felt like uh, didn't feel too good about myself uh, going into that fifth set. But <clears throat> I at least wanted to try to not lose serve this that set um, and give myself a shot, you know, like, like I did in the first set where – just hung around, hung around, hung around, and stayed mentally good in the tiebreaker, and was able to squeak it out. And I felt like maybe that was my best chance. I don't, I didn't feel good about breaking serve, but maybe I could get to a ten point breaker and see what happens. On your way to the site today, the win. When did you first start thinking this is going to be a crazy match? When my mom texted me at four a.m. looking up the weather, <laughs> saying, "I think it's going to be windy today." Four a.m. Four a.m. for me, oh. but like later on for her. So when I looked at my phone. Uh, this morning, I was like, "Okay, mom, thank you. I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're on it." <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know it looked very windy, but it, Melbourne's one of those places where it's windy and 
in streaks. You know, it's like it doesn't like it's not just windy. It's not like a uniform wind. It's like it's super windy over here, and it's not that bad over here. So like from the player cafe, for example. Uh, where you look out from, it's like a wind tunnel. So it looks horribly windy. And then you go to one of the courts, and it's like, yeah, it's not that bad. So I, it looked really windy, but I wasn't exactly sure what we were going to get on the court. And some of the courts are different. Some of them swirl real bad, like the the stadiums where they, they dip down a little bit and the wind just kind of swirls in there. And, and the outside courts, uh, it's more consistent, I feel like. But, um, yeah, I, I pretty much knew it was going to be windy. Mm. So do you, find, do you find the structure of the tour difficult to to sort of get you know, the best out of yourself, is that? Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. But, I mean, the tour is structured how it is, and you choose to play or not play. You know, it's your decision. It's so you not, have a, a certain number of commitments you have to make. There's a certain amount. Well, for me, maybe not, because I tend to not get in main draw of the thousands, so I don't <laughs> you don't have to play the qualities, um, especially the smaller draw of thousands. It just depends uh, where my ranking's at. But, like, the 250s um, and 500 events, I mean, those are your choices. Those are your choices, and sometimes I don't make the right choice. Sometimes I overplay. Like after Wimbledon, I played three weeks straight. I was in the second week, and then I played three three tournaments in a row. And by the third tournament, I was like, "What am I doing? Why am I playing this much? What am I thinking? I'm not thinking." Um, so just trying to structure that better, and it's a challenge because if you're in, especially for me, if I feel like I'm in the main, if I'm in the main draw of events, I want to go play. So I feel like it's a good opportunity, but I need to do a better job of picking and choosing. Your next match, tennis. Yeah, that one. play Sam. Um, yeah, I mean we're we're good friends and and he's a great player and I, he got me in a heartbreaker at Wimbledon last year and that was a really difficult match. I think I lost three, two tiebreakers, one six four, six seven seven six seven six. Yeah, um, that was tough. So it'll be fun to get back out there again with him. I I, I enjoyed I mean, the match was difficult, but I enjoyed playing it. I feel like you know our games kind of match up. Interesting. He's a big hitter. I defend pretty well and. I'm um, going to need to hold on to my serve like I did some today. <laughs> yeah, I did sometimes, but uh, it'll be fun. Yeah, good have match. You, have you watched his matches here? N no, I watched some. Of, who did he play first round? He played uh, Chorch. I watched a little bit of that one. It looked like he was playing great. So um, Obviously, he's got a real good high-end game. When he's playing well, he's a very, very good player. He's made semis of Wimbledon twice, once. One quarter, one, quarter, one semi. I mean... He's a heck of a player, obviously, when he's playing well. Um, and it seems like he's playing well, so that's not great for me. But <laughs> <laughs> you must have um, that big run that you made here a couple of yeah. months ago. Did that contribute to you being able to have that mentality that you can take weeks off now when you need to take the match? Certainly, off? certainly, career, certainly. Um, I mean, at that point, I hadn't won a main draw match at a slam, so I didn't really know what I could do. Um, but since then, I've had enough good weeks and enough good results that I feel like if I am playing well that, that I have a potential to do well at a big event. Um, so it's just about managing that and trying to peak at the right times. Does it help with confidence? Like, you know, just that, that you did it? You yeah, know, I mean, confidence is a fickle thing. Very fickle thing. I mean, it helps to know that you can do something that you're capable, but if um, if you're stuck in the woods and you don't really see, <laughs> you can't really see the sun, then it's it doesn't matter what you've done if you can't get a good vibe going and, and feel like you uh, you know have good momentum then your confidence is lost sometimes so it, it can help but also it can also add to frustration like well I played really well this time why are we not playing well right now like why can't I figure it out you know it's it's a tough it's a tough thing it's it's difficult you have to have like a good kind of I don't know inner belief that things will work out the, the best that they reasonably can work out if you stay positive and believe in yourself as best you can and how's the vibe so far um well it was good for the first two sets today and then <laughs> and then uh yeah it was a challenge it was a challenge i feel like i kind of got away with one there because i didn't really have any momentum going in that fifth set and and yeah just snuck it out barely can you just take talk a little bit about dealing with the whole mental side of things as well. And I don't know if I'm the best pressures. one to, to <laughs> talk about the mental stuff. Yeah. I mean, just um, that whole experience two years ago here, and you've obviously moved on. Uh, I mean, do you have a specific now. question with that, or well, just, just in the, general you know, question? quarterfinals and your off-court sort of stuff that you had to deal with. Have, have you learned from that whole experience? Sure. Yeah. And has that helped you with your game moving forward? Is it? Yeah. 
elaborate on that? Too? It has helped me with my game. Sure. Can I ask, I can I ask one last one? Oh, um, for you, is there any chat among the American men about the Olympics this year? Because I there... haven't heard much, honestly. Okay. I haven't heard much from them. I haven't Do you asked know where them. You stand I haven't already? asked them. Um, right now, I stand at about what eighty-five in the world, roughly. Um, so I would assume I don't even know what what's the ranking cut. Well, about sixty. Sixty. I mean, it's kind of on my. It's one of those things that's on my radar as a potential, and I've heard some. Maybe some guys are playing. Maybe some guys aren't playing. I don't really know for sure, honestly, and I. I don't really feel like bothering them and asking, but <laughs> I feel like I, I need to win matches before that becomes relevant you know i need to get my act together and get my ranking up high enough to where then i then i'll start to figure out okay what's the list like who's playing what's the order do i have a shot do i not have a shot but right now it's kind of like one of those things where um i've got some tennis in front of me that i need to play well in mm -hmm. thank you everyone thank you